Good morning. At least it's morning for me. Maybe it's not morning for you. That's okay. It's morning for me. I don't have my ring on. It's morning. I have my hair like this. I'm wearing my 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 merch sweatshirt. It's very cozy. It's kind of cold in Sweden. That's why it's kind of light behind me. Do you see that rooftop? The white there? That's snow. So we're having a bit of snow and I'm a bit cold, so ooh, I wanted to have something more cozy on. We're gonna do a bit of a get ready with me. I have so much new makeup that I wanna try. So I picked some things out here. A lot of it is ColourPop and I also have the new concealer. I need to pick out my shade and see what my shade could be. Cause they sent me all 30. Like, you didn't need to do that. I don't even have 30 friends to give these to. I'm gonna see if I can find my shade. I'm kinda thinking. Where am I? Is C, is that cool? Is that cool? Fair neutral. I don't think I am that. Maybe I'm this one. Light warm. We're gonna try this one. I'm also gonna take out a fair warm because I do wanna, yeah, this one. So this is fair 15 warm. I'm keeping that for future reference. Maybe I need to lighten it up a bit. And this is a light 45 W warm. So I'm keeping those. And I'm gonna give one of these to my mom because my mom wanted a new concealer, but I still have quite a few left, so we'll just put that to the side. I'm gonna start with foundation though. I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place stick foundation. Um, I have used this once on my channel, so this isn't a first impression, but this is only the third time using this. I just need to make up my mind what I think about it. It's very creamy. <laughs> you can see my, my pores are not looking so good when I'm putting this on, but you can just get it into the into the pores uh, and it's like a medium coverage very creamy and i need to set this with a powder and i do feel like last time i used it it really held up on me like it looked pretty good uh, but i didn't set it with a powder otherwise it was moving around everywhere so let me see if i can get this in i like using a sponge with um a stick foundation i don't know why but for me that like just pats it into the skin and doesn't shear it out too much. I feel the opposite about a foundation brush and a thick foundation. I don't know why, it's just how I feel after trying both techniques for quite some time. Oh, I forgot to tell you the shade. I am wearing Nepal. Uh, I did get this from my friend Amy, Amy Loves Makeup, because she is on the Devious Place PR list and she is much more fair than me. So she wasn't using the light medium shades. As you probably can see, this is not a full coverage. It's like a medium coverage. You can still see a lot of my skin, well, skin through and some of the like beauty marks and stuff that I have. I don't mind that though. Um, I think that's pretty okay. Ugh, that cat toy. Wait, had to switch that to a not so loud toy. So I'm gonna use the light one today, I think, or maybe I'll mix it with the fair because the fair is so much, so much lighter than the, uh, than the light one, but they're both, uh, warm like w warm let me see how this looks yeah i think that this might be like this is just a little bit lighter maybe this will be good this is usually the area where i want a bit more coverage i'll put a bit of my nose as well let's see if i can lighten it up a bit afterwards but i think i'm gonna try it like this i also wanted to talk a bit about like just what's going on and like youtube in general um, I did do a video like, is it like two months ago now or maybe one month ago saying that I was gonna uh, back down a bit because I didn't really feel like it was that much fun doing videos that people didn't want to watch and I still feel like that. Uh, I just got a lot of new energy because there were so many videos that I wanted to fix before the end of the year like updates on my predictions and like favorites and why is the light so weird? Is that okay? And stuff like that. So I have been, and also my declutter. I filmed so many episodes in my declutter series and those kind of things. So it has been more videos lately. And maybe some of them will spill out over um, like January as well, because I'm not here trying to do a vlogmas. I'm not here trying to do videos every day. Um, I know that even if I do that, I'm not gonna get that much more views. It's not gonna, it's not gonna show on my AdSense. Uh, right now, I'm taking a bit of the light. I'm just gonna lighten this part up. I notice right now that what people wanna see on YouTube from me, I'm not saying from everyone, but from me, is not me applying makeup. <laughs> uh, they wanna hear me talk about makeup. They wanna see me haul makeup and 
like the clutter makeup and rose makeup and comment on makeup but they don't want to see me apply it uh, which is uh, which is a shame because that is obviously my favorite part of my makeup but it, I feel like it, it's not just me I know other creators says this as well that right now the climate on YouTube cl climate 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 how do you say that word it didn't feel right when I said it is not to I'm gonna use the um, no filter setting powder. I've gotten this one called Pop from way back, but it's a pretty nice powder. So I'm gonna use it together with their concealer and see how that works out. I know that right now I'm not the only creator that says this, that as soon as they like put makeup on, that's not what people wanna see. They wanna see videos where they talk about makeup. And I know that for a lot of creators and a lot of the people that are getting a lot of views on their um, like looks and stuff are doing really elaborated like Instagram looks and also I see comments saying they don't want to see that but at the end of the day that's the kind of looks I see get a lot of views or when you have something that's new new when you have something that's not released yet or that's just recently released although I will say that for me not even that will give me views on uh, looks and that's why I've been putting a lot of them on Instagram because I get the same amount of views on Instagram that I do on YouTube obviously I don't get paid for it but I'm not I'm not doing this get paid I'm not I'm not thinking about how to monetize everything and how to get paid on everything uh, I'm, I'm just setting my face a little bit as well it's probably changed to a bigger brush I just want to do things that people like I just want to do things that people watch um, and for me it's so much easier Ooh, so much easier to put it uh, on Instagram than to put it on YouTube and if it's gonna get the same amount of views I might as well just do that um, some Lately, I've also been doing some looks that I haven't been filming, which has been actually quite fun. How do I feel about this concealer? It's not 100% uh, high coverage, and I haven't been sleeping that good lately, so I do see some some of my circles are still circling around, they're still here. But I mean, I mean, it looks okay otherwise. It's not super hydrating under my eyes, which could be a good thing though, because I don't like the ones that are like super smeary. It's not my cup of tea is not really what I like in a uh, concealer. Um, my face is looking really flat now though, after the powder, but I do know that I do need to set that foundation, otherwise it's gonna go all over. So yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of, um, a little bit of glow back. But I do have some glow that I can bring back to my face. Uh, and let me put some eyebrows and eye primer on um, because that's that's not fun. I'm sorry, that's not fun. And this is me being salty about, oh my god, nobody watches my tutorials. That's not it. I just noticed that what people like to see on YouTube has changed. And I mean, that's neither my or your fault. It's just that people's tastes have changed. And that also, of course, makes people want to change the kind of content that they do because if something that you used to do and used to get a lot of views on are not getting views anymore a lot of content creators will stop doing that thing and do other things instead and that is why we've seen so many commentary channels popping up and that is probably why you've seen a lot of your makeup channels now do commentary uh, videos because that's what gets the views and people are probably like me uh, i'm guessing some are doing it of course for getting more money and i don't blame you it, bills needs to be paid i'm just saying that we all want our videos to be viewed. I mean, we're on YouTube. If I didn't want my videos to be viewed, if I didn't want to get views in my videos, why am I here? Like, I wouldn't put it on the public platform. I think all of us are putting videos out there because we're hoping that they're gonna get views. Um, and that is probably why you're seeing that a lot of tutorials have disappeared from this platform or a lot of like just edu- if a suit, those are the videos from me that get the least views. When I'm doing something that's like an how-to video or like educate like that gets not so little view that's that's the ones that get the least views from me if i do a throwback palette a throwback series with an old palette or if i do something that's kind of an educational or how-to that gets the least views um, and and i'm sure for other people that gets a lot of views i'm sure but for me it does not and that is the reason why i almost completely stop doing those because that's not what people want to see from me and it makes no sense in doing things that 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 you don't want to see most of you i mean if you're you're watching this it's not really about you because you are here watching me apply makeup so it's not really about you because you're here <laughs> And this video isn't probably going to get a lot of views because I'm here applying makeup. Let me fix this now that I said I was going to fix. Do you kind of like my face though? It's kind of flat, but it's looking 
pretty good and, and it's not a full coverage thing so it's pretty nice let me let me put the brows and the eye primer on <laughs> i've been talking too much okay so i think everything is on <laughs> i'm gonna use the vivid big bronzer by makeup revolution this is in ready to go this is a new one because i actually did just get rid of the one that i had before uh, so I think this is the second one I'm using this new one. I think now I think this is discontinued and they've come out with new fake bronzers. This is the main problem I feel with Makeup Revolution is that they discontinue things and then come out with the exact same thing again but like just call it something new because they have new baked bronzers and they look exactly like these and I'm betting they are exactly the same just a new name and a new packaging and that is something that i i just uh, i don't like that that is like even more making the whole trend of new 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 worse when you're discontinuing things and then just re-releasing them again under new name trying to make them look new when they're actually not i do feel like the whole like beauty community is like add a new place because i feel like somewhere along the line i'm getting used to color pop blush this one is in shortcake yeah somewhere along the line people lost the love for just like using makeup and applying makeup and and just wearing makeup and it all became a more collecting makeup and owning makeup and commenting on makeup and just roasting makeup and roasting youtubers i mean the the drama community grew so strong during, I want to say 2018, 2019, the drama community and the commenting community, not necessarily like just drama, just commenting on stuff, because it isn't all drama, it really like bursted. And I don't feel like, as I feel like not all like beauty channels are alike, I'm just using different brushes to blend this out, not all like beauty channels are alike, I also feel the same about drama, not all drama channels are alike, they are definitely not. I'm gonna use the new Soul Body Highlighters, I got two, but the Rosé one, the one that's a bit darker, it has a bit of a cast, it has a bit of a darker cast, so I am gonna use the one that's lighter, that's called Platinum, I do feel like this might be, it's like a very light gold, might be really pretty though, but I'm not going to use it on my body because I'm cold. I'm going to use it on my face. But the whole surge of like the beauty community uh, spawning a lot of drama and then really spiraling into this drama channel craze that's been going on these past two years. It's created a new, a new kind of drama at the end of this year when it turns out that some of the drama channels are just as bad as some of the beauty channels that they have reported on and it just shows that there are bad people in every every part of the of like life every path of life there's always going to be some people that just aren't good people or aren't aware of that they could be better and i feel like with the beauty community a part of people losing trust in it and just losing faith in just wearing makeup all together is that it became a lot of flexing it became a lot of like not remembering where people came from and it's very easy for drama channels to commentate on that i do feel like this would probably look better on the skin than the face but it is really pretty it smells good this smells what i think that people like, this smells like the tropical goodness that I wish the butter bronzer smelled like. I feel the butter bronzer just doesn't smell that nice, but this actually does. This is more of a light thing. Let me, let me spray my face and just apply a bit more. This, this came with a sponge, actually. So I think you're meant to use this, I don't know, with the sponge on your body. I just keep in the sponge like this because I don't know what to do with this, to be honest. Um, and I feel like this year it's really shown that not all drama channels are alike, just like not all beauty channels are alike. I mean, there are probably beauty YouTubers out there that are just in it for the money. Uh, they are not caring about if they're giving truthful reviews. Maybe they're not even doing reviews anymore because, to be fair, reviews are not getting that much views either people are just not that interested in makeup as like applying makeup and wearing makeup and loving makeup that's just not really what people are into right now i'm also gonna use the butterfly collection because i got this sent to me and sometimes i feel like the part of the the beauty community oh, this is pretty dope that i'm part of 
what do I want to use? Wait, let me figure out what I want to use. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use this one. Um, let me start with those two and let's see where we are because I do have some super shock shadows that I might want to use as well. So maybe I'll just start with those two. God, there are so many things here. I mean, my little basket. And it's like, I just love makeup. I just want to apply makeup, but people don't seem to be that interested in that anymore on YouTube. They want to see people that wear makeup and talk about makeup, but I don't, I don't know if it's becoming more of a collecting makeup and owning makeup and roasting makeup than it has been like actually applying makeup and wearing makeup and talking about how to become maybe even more skilled with makeup. I don't, I see a cat hair. <laughs> Haha, I don't know if like, did that part disappear? Because uh, I feel like some of the people that used to do so many tutorials like Crispy and Desi and even Jacqueline, let's be honest, they're not really doing that anymore. But maybe they're busy doing other things and maybe that's the whole reason why it all just sizzled out because I mean, Desi is doing more of an Instagram model kind of thing. Jacqueline is busy being rich. I don't really know what Jacqueline is. I mean, she's having her own brand, but she's definitely not into doing YouTube videos anymore. And Crispy has been into like, I don't know, keto things. That's when I unsubscribe because that, I don't want to see diet YouTube videos. That, that I, it's not, I'm sorry, that's not my thing. Uh, and now she released a lash brand, but with mink lashes. So it's not something that I want to be into. Just feel like everything has changed so much and maybe the viewers change. I don't know, like it's the tale of the, the hen and the egg. Like what came first? Did the viewers taste change first or did it change because the YouTubers that used to do those kind of videos stopped doing that and therefore people start looking for other things. I feel like when the drama community got big in 2000, I'm, I'm guessing 18, am I wrong? Was it 17? I'm thinking 18. A lot of people were more interested in hearing the drama and the tea about the YouTubers than actually watching the YouTubers themselves. Um, and also I feel like lately, I felt like when I started my channel, I felt like the small beauty community and the large beauty community, they were two magnets you know, opposite magnets never to meet or same magnets. What do you say? You know, they were never to meet, never to mingle. But now I see like, because like I said, I don't feel like all drama channels are alike. Some people actually seem like good people, like Smoky Glow, for example. I love Smoky Glow. I love Hannah. Uh, and I can't believe how much she's grown. Well, I can't believe. I mean, she's talented and people really love her message. Uh, so I feel like there are not just out there to bash because some people are like, oh my god, if I do a really bashy video with a really bashy title, I'm gonna get so much AdSense because people tell you that AdSense is nothing. There are drama channels out there being rich, like they are rich now because of all the AdSense. I, I'm telling you this, not as like exposure or tea, but getting a video with like a hundred thousand views, that is a couple of thousand dollars. And now you go back and look at some of those drama channels and look at their views and you imagine what kind of a paycheck they're getting. Like they're making tens of thousands of dollars every month. They're living, they're living good. So these kind of like, I totally get why you want to do like super dramatic videos. It gets you the views, it gets you the AdSense. But for example, like Smoky Glow, she got like a, a tweet. I think that like James Charles tweeted like saying that her channel was good the other day. And this is something that I would have never thought to see in when I started doing YouTube. I never thought the the small community and the big like LA big beauty guru community, I never thought that they would mix. I never thought that it would be like a I don't know. I, I kinda saw this as a as a like boxed in group that was like this is where we are now, this is our community, and I'm, I'm thrilled to see that it's, it's mixing a bit. It's always really interesting to like speculate like who's gonna be the next thing, who's, who's gonna be the next big YouTuber, and this year I really started seeing Hannah's uh, like views popping off, so I kind of understood early this year that this was the year of, of, of Smoky Glow, and I'm excited for her, I'm so excited for her. I'm doing the darker color now, and I feel like she might be like the new generation of like commenting channels, like commenting, but not necessarily uh, 
over dramatizing or like some of them some of the drama channel has been straight up bullying people and just like we don't need to be mean to be commenting on things and i feel like this could be a new wave because what i don't think i don't think that like drama is going away i don't think commenting channels are going away but maybe it's gonna steer in a different direction and what i feel about like the beauty community i don't really know how i feel about like where i think it's going People are like really upset that like beauty channels are like oh my god you're only doing videos when you have something to show or you're only doing videos when there's a new release but new releases are are things that are getting views and I, I get people like you want to do videos that people want to watch and it does end up being like just showcasing new things but if that's what people clicks on i mean that's what people want to see i think sometimes viewers are expecting youtubers to change the taste of like the viewing community but the viewing community they are more than i think that you understand really shaping youtube because what you click on is what you're gonna see more of and if you watch a drama video as soon as it comes out and you wait two weeks to watch the tutorial you're gonna see more commenting and drama videos and less tutorials because that's how it is and that's what people want to do and maybe some people would even call this like a drama or commenting video i'm just saying that I don't think that people are wearing less makeup in their everyday life. I definitely don't think that. But maybe they're just not as interested in seeing people apply their makeup, at least not while they're not talking about something else. Uh, just look at, for example, you have to find your own... We talked about this when we were in New York, me and uh, Karen and Amy. You just have to find your own niche. Just look at Bailey Sarian. She is applying makeup every Monday for her makeup mystery... Monday? Is it called a Makeup Mystery Monday? I think that. I love that. I mean, I'm not even interested in true crime, but I still love it because it's like a story time. And I think that like, that's the perfect, you have to find your niche. Like the niche between how can you still apply and love makeup without making it all about makeup? Because I don't think that people are that interested in seeing people apply makeup while talking about makeup. It's like, it's like the wave of the beauty community that was in like 2015, 2016, 2017. That like somehow like almost killed people's like interest in being just like, they're not that interested in, in the makeup that they're willing to watch just makeup. <laughs> And I don't think I've found my niche, to be honest. I'm even noticing that my new makeup releases that I'm doing every Sunday, I'm even noticing that those views are down because I don't think that people are just that interested in makeup anymore. And maybe that's going to be like the beginning of the end for a lot of uh, channels like me, that they're going to stop doing videos because they notice that what they, they love doing are just not that interesting. Um, and I don't think that that's a bad thing. It's just that somehow with time, people's tastes change. And when people's tastes change, of course, the kind of creators that you're going to see on the platform is also going to change. Because if you like doing one kind of video, like just one type of video, and nobody wants to watch that, of course, you're going you're gonna to stop creating videos and just focus on other places in your life. And I've seen that a lot with who's been big on YouTube lately and who was big when I started doing YouTube. It's not the same people, even though sometimes I feel like it's the same people, it's not the same people. Uh, and it's gonna be interesting to see where the beauty community is going. I mean, 2019 has not been like an amazing year for my channel, let's be honest. I haven't really grown at all, uh, but I never had the ambition to be like the next Jacqueline. Like nobody wants to be the next Jacqueline Hill now because she's like, oh my God, People are really after her right now. But the next, like, big thing. I never thought that I was going to be that. I never thought that I was going to be, like, a big YouTuber living in a big mansion. Like, wiping my face with, with dollar bills like some of these people are. I'm, I never thought I was going to be that person. I was always aware that there was a plateau for me. And maybe this is my plateau. And that's that's totally fine too. This this could be where I'm at. Um, and maybe with time my taste will change as well. And I would want to do something else. And who knows? 
I really like this color. I have a scar here. I don't know if you can see it. I have a scar here from banging my head <laughs> in the bed when I was a kid. And this just never blends good over the scar. It's so annoying. Yeah, I banged my head into my bed when I was a kid trying to like fix my sheets and I just burst at this wide open as bled everywhere. It was like, I looked like Carrie. <laughs> Oh my god, I was staying at my dad at the time because my mom and my dad wasn't together when I was a kid and I stayed with him like every other weekend and he was like, what are you doing? And it was in the middle of the night and so he just taped it together uh, because it wasn't really hurting, it was just bleeding and I was never like, I was never like a, cr like a crying baby, like I wasn't, I was never that fuzzy about blood or pain or stuff like that and I've never been, I'm not really right now either, so we just taped it together but of course it didn't, like, it didn't heal up perfectly, so <laughs> that's why I have that weird scar now and I also have a scar on the other, I, I burst that eyebrow open as well, I cracked, like in Sweden we say crack, but I cracked both my eyebrows when I was a kid, I was a wild kid not kidding you, I was a wild kid. My mom always said that I was getting my like my younger cousin into trouble because she was so afraid and I was like a daredevil. Uh, <laughs> I need to blend this a bit more. Be right back. I think I'm gonna put some of this dark on my lid as well and I'm gonna use the duochrome super shock shadow on top and see how it mixes. That's really nice on the lid as well. This would make it really nice, just smoky eye as it is, but I'm gonna put some of that duochrome over. Oh, this turned real smoky real fast. Let me find the duochrome shadow. So this collection has four Super Shock shadows. Um, this one that's like a, a burgundy bronze, and then this one that is a light uh, champagne, but it has a lot of like goldy and pinky and like purpley glitters in it. It's super pretty. Then this one that's like more of a fuchsia, strong purple. But then we have this one. This one that is called impossible to get out of the packaging. How do you get... And so much gl This packaging has so much gl I hate that. I hate the glittery packaging. It's getting glitter all over and it's driving me crazy. Okay. This one is called Flying Circus and see the packaging is like a glittery purple as well. I think that's pretty if I can get this open. And this is a duochrome purpley periwinkle blue. And I think I'm gonna use that on top of this. I, I don't know where my channel is. This is what it looks like. I don't know where my channel is going in the future. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this forever. Uh, I still love makeup uh, and of course it makes me sad that my love for makeup lasted longer than like a lot of other people but maybe I'll find my niche as well, who knows uh, for a while there I was like maybe I'll reach 100k as well and get the plaque maybe that will happen now I don't feel like that anymore because I've noticed that my growth kind of stopped and this is where I'm at which is totally fine of course it would have been cool to get the plaque but but I also don't think that like, I mean, if you don't get it, you don't get it. It's not the end of the world. I still feel like the things that I've done on YouTube has been good and worth it either way. Uh, I just, I'm basically just putting it all over because I want to have the sparkle. That is really, really pretty. Let me just blend that out. It's, what? Now, now I'm like this. Let me put that on my hand. Let's see if I can blend this out a bit. Maybe I should do a bit of liner. Oh, maybe I should do... Because I have two of the... Uh, what are these called? The jelly shadows as well. How do I open this? And I want to use the one that's... This one. There are two of them. And one is a darker and one is a lighter. Uh, the darker is like a... It's like a... This color. It's like a mauve very sparkly purple. But then this one is like a very... Like a crystal. It's like a crystal color, like a quartz. So I'm gonna see if I can use that a bit in my inner corners. Like it looks like this. Very like, am I in focus? Probably not, very crystal-like. Can I see myself on the screen a bit better? Oh, maybe. How's this looking? Ah, oh, it's looking okay. So I'm just taking some on, on the lid. This is a pencil brush by Colourpop. Uh, I'm just taking some like this and I'm just gonna see if I can, oh. Oh, wait. Oh, too much. Too much. I don't know if I think that this was as smooth as the other ones have been. Maybe you need to apply this more over a bigger 
bigger base because I don't know how I feel about it in my inner corners. I don't know how I feel about that. It just looks very structured. I think I like the other jelly shadows more than I like this one, not gonna lie. This one just looks a bit scaly if you already have a bit of structure like I do under. This one is really not helping. Yeah, maybe this is for the 19 year olds, not the 35 year olds. <laughs> I'm gonna do a bit of my mascara and I think a bit of liner as well. And I'll come back. Oh, and we have the lips because I do have um, the blur lipsticks. So I'll finally be able to try these. So excited. Okay, am I in focus? I hope so. <laughs> uh, I used a bit of white eye pen as well. This is just the H&M white eye pen. I really like it. I'm gonna put some falsies on as well because I want to use this again. Oh, sorry. These are the Mami lashes. These are from the... Uh, Autumn Collection by Colourpop. I've worn this twice. I think these are really nice. I've said that before, but Colourpop lashes, pretty okay and pretty affordable. So I'm gonna put these on and where did I put the other one? It fell somewhere. Hello? Hello? Is it, is it, oh, here, here, it's right here. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Put these on and I'll be back and we'll, I will put a lipstick on. I've never tried to blur lipsticks. Pretty excited actually. Okay, the lashes are on. I really like these lashes. I think they're nice. I don't know if these are the most dramatic ones they have. Maybe. I did get sent three of these as PR a while back and these mommy ones were the most dramatic out of those three at least. So, I don't know. But I like how they look on, but I don't like how this uh, gel shadow is looking. It's not looking that flattering. I, I don't know if you can see, but I can see. Maybe if I put the auto focus on and I can just show you, you can see how textured that looks. It does not look good. Let me see if I can put this back on. It just, it's not ideal. I also got this uh, body highlighter poof. Obviously I'm not wearing it today because I'm freezing here. I haven't even opened it. It's got a, like you can see there a powder in here and it's like a, a sticker on. It's just big, one big like, I'm very grateful to be able to try this, but it's really not the kind of thing that I usually go for. But we're gonna try the lipsticks as well. This is the Come Fly With Me kit. Um, it opens up and there are five of the blurred lipsticks in here. You see different shades. Uh, and I've never tried this formula. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that this was one of the ones that I really wanted to try. So there are, let me see if I can open them. One thing that I don't like about, stop it, stop it. That I don't like about the um, these Luxe lipsticks by Colourpop is that sometimes you get the tip, <laughs> cat hair, get the tip like smushed like this because it's like, in the lid. I don't know why. This is Scorpio Moon. This is Bloom to Bloom. Mm, that is, that is a pretty shade. <laughs> you know, I like shades like that. And this is Oasis. This also is a bit smushed. And then we have Slow Dance. That is the darkest one. Really pretty. And then we have uh, Come On Clover. Clove, Clover. Clover, clover, clover. Sorry. Or maybe this is the darkest one. Maybe I should wear this. Let me, let me, let me put this on. Should I wear a lip liner? It's pretty opaque. I know that this is the kind of formula that you probably shouldn't do like a sharp line with, but I like wearing my lips like that, so. It's more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. That's pretty cool. Let me fix this. I did uh, fix the line a bit with the little lip pencil, but I think it's kind of pretty. It's not 100% opaque, and you can probably see that it's a bit darker here. It sticks to some of the places uh, that is a bit dry because it turned so cold in Sweden so fast, so my lips did end up being a bit chapped. It is a nice powdery matte finish. Uh, let me Wow, sexy. Um, I tried a darker shade now, so I don't know how I would feel about the lighter shade, but... And also, this foundation is not ideal for my smile lines. Maybe I should try and put that... 
powder over that. But yeah, that's the finished look. Wait, let me, let me, let me fix the settings. Okay, there we go. Better. Maybe I should have used some dry shampoo in this hair, but this is where we're at. So this is the finished look. I really like it. I have to use these blur lipsticks a bit more. Mm, I probably needed to moisturize a bit under this and maybe even use a lip liner, but here we are. I liked most of the things I used today. This highlighter turned out to be more subtle on the skin than I thought it was going to be, but I do think that that little sponge is meant to like put it on the body with that one. And I am very interested in using it on the body. I also want to use this one on the body, but it's too cold today. I, I couldn't. I'm going to try and use some of the blur lipsticks more and let form like a more better, form like a more better, form a better opinion about them. They're very comfortable on the lips. They feel a bit almost silicone-y. I don't mind that, but if you don't like that kind of feeling on your lips, maybe it's not for you. The lashes are really nice. The eyeshadow looks really nice. The gel... Mm, those jelly shadows, I really love them, but this one is too flaky. It's bringing out too much structure. It did not work where you have some kind of a lines or folds or stuff like that. It's not working at all in my inner corners. It's not, it's not, it's not looking that good. But here we are. The Super Shock Shadow in the Duochrome is so pretty, super sparkly. The palette, I only used two mattes, but those were pretty nice. But yeah, all in all, I like it. The concealer. I need to use it a bit more. I wasn't like blown away, but it looks it looks pretty okay. It looks pretty okay. This gel over is not it's not helping its situation. I want to finish up this video a bit by with the things I talked about. I don't want to sound bitter. I'm not. I feel like it's exciting to see things evolve and to see where things are going. And this is not about like it's not about you. It's a, it's about me not following the trends because if I want to be a creator and if I want to still have like good views, I need to follow the trends as well or create new friends. But I'm not because I'm so settled in the things that I like to film, the things that I like to watch that I just continue to do the same things that I love to do. And if I want to like grow on this platform and if I want to get more views, it's up to me. Like I need to change with the changes. Like I need to keep up with the YouTube and keep up with what the audience wants. And I haven't really done that. And that's me being stubborn. And that's me still loving the makeup content that I, I still like watch because I still watch that content. Um, and I don't see myself changing into a commentary channel, but Maybe I will try some new stuff if there's something like, I will say that lately, I've been watching a lot of makeup, of course, because I love watching makeup and I love watching so many different things like chatty get ready with me's and like reviews and swatches and like challenges like makeup, like bingos and stuff. I love watching those and I still watch those and I know not like the big audience on YouTube doesn't really, but although they do for some uh, creators like uh, Rob Beauty Christie and like uh, Sam, Sam Ravendahl because they're so like their personalities are so big and I think that that's like the thing that people now subscribe for personalities and I think that's very exciting because I'm the same. I will say though that lately I've been watching so much more gaming again, which is so exciting because that's how I started watching YouTube. I did not start watching YouTube for makeup. I started watching for gaming and watching so much uh, League of Legends uh, team fight tactics and even on Twitch. I even started a Twitch account, like who am I? And I've also been watching a lot of Sims content because I've been so into Sims lately again. Uh, ooh, lipstick. And it's been so exciting. Like uh, I've been watching Lil Simsy and The Ligracy and James Turner and I've really been enjoying their Sims content like so much. I even bought like more Sims expansions and I've been downloading like CCs, like custom content. I, I've been enjoying Sims a lot, not gonna lie. So that's been a lot of fun as well. The new season for TFT is out and I haven't climbed at all. I'm just, I, I played like seven matches and I, I'm in like bronze two or something. <laughs> I haven't played anything, but I'm just, that, that has been exciting for me. So, I mean, even for me, why do I have a lash that's like not where it's supposed to be? Stop it. So I feel like even me, as a viewer, my thing, like my views have changed as well, like what, what I want to see, but I also know that I'm not the typical viewer on YouTube because I still uh, watch a lot of content that I know that creators are saying that they're not getting that much views on. So I can't really go by my own taste anymore when it comes to creating things that get a lot of views. Although if I were to film things just to get the views, this isn't at all what I've been filming, but I still don't want to 
create things that I know won't get views. Because part of the fun is like seeing your reaction and reading your comments and seeing people enjoy like watching what you're doing. And it does take away a bit of the fun when you see that that's not happening. So, but it's fun for me as well because it pushes me to create new things and to think out of the box and to be like, so where, where do I want to take this? And you never know where you're going. I wanted to make this video a bit about like what's going on in my, in my life as well because there are some things going on, but maybe I'll film another get rid of me talking about that because I'm actually, I'm actually traveling again soon. I didn't think I was gonna, but I am. <laughs> So that happened. I have cat hair everywhere. Oof. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm babbling and I see that I've been babbling so long even though I'm done with my look. Thank you so much for being here. If you are watching this, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here, watching my videos, liking, commenting. It does mean a lot to me. This is a very fun and rewarding hobby for me. It's like my side hustle at this point. And thank you so much for, for sticking with me even though I've been having my ups and downs this year for sure, but it's about me finding my journey as well. Like, where do I want to go with my channel? I think that, like right now, I'm a bit stuck in like, I want things to be like they were in 2017, but they're not. And I just need to realize that myself. So yeah. So yeah, thank you again for being here. I will see you in my next video. It's probably going to be tomorrow. Bye.